So for this problem, we will try to figure out what is the reaction for step 3 given the data. So basically what we want to do is just start out looking at our overall reaction and seeing what is missing um, that is not mentioned in step 1 or step 2. So obviously uh, for step 1 there is 2NO which is going to show up in the overall reaction so that's fine. Um, we produce one mole of N2O2 in step 1, we consume one mole of N2O2 in step 2, so that actually has a net zero. What are we left, to, left with now? Well, we see two moles of H2, and there's only one mole of H2 in step 2, so, that, so step 3 has to have another mole of H2. Uh, we also see that in overall reaction we have two moles of H2O. There's only one mole of H2O uh, in for step two, so we know that there has to be one mole of H2O also produced in step three. We're also left with N nitrogen, which is not even mentioned in either step one or step two, so that has to be in step three. So what else are we left with? Well, there is no mention of dinitrogen monoxide at all. So that has to be, that is, there is no N2O here. So that means that since it's produced in step two, it must be consumed in step three. So we put one mole of N2O in step three. And now we look at over the overall reaction. So this works out. We have two moles of H2 here. We have two moles of H2O here. And we have one mole of N2O. So the answer is for step three, N2O plus H2 goes to H2O plus N2. Another way which we should check is looking at this must be a balanced equation. We have two uh, atoms of N2, we have two atoms of N2 here. We have one atom of oxygen, one atom of oxygen, two atoms of hydrogen, two at atoms of hydrogen. So this is our answer.